Now the SPCA's head vet, Dr. Chelsea Vidgen, joins us now to talk about kitten season, adopting a kitten and the importance of de-sexing. Welcome, Chelsea. Hello. And welcome to these gorgeous little creatures who yeah. I've got a little guy and he's quite adventurous so he might go do a bit of a runner soon. That's I imagine they'll probably, probably um, try to check things out. That's okay though. First I want to ask you, um, tell me about these gorgeous little kitties. So these are two um, that came in stray kittens, tons of them, Only one of the, two of the 500 plus we have oh, usually. Gosh. Um, came in and they will, got fostered out to gain some weight and get old enough and they'll get de-sexed and rehomed. Wow, so they are looking for homes. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. Um, what, it, why is it kitten season? Um, usually there is a kitten season as it gets warmer. Um, they just breed more prolifically, there's more resources. Um, we're finding that the kitten season is getting longer and longer and longer. Oh, so, that's interesting. Yeah. So, um, global warming, put it down to global yeah. warming. Yep. So what do we need to do? Say I, um, I've decided that I want to get a kitten. Mm -hmm. What's my, the best choice, choice for me choosing a kitten? Um, so it is a big decision. So usually a lot of our feline team actually can help all potential adopters who come in and want a kitten. Um, because there are also, everybody wants a kitten. They're cute and they're fun, but um, there's also sometimes it's more fitting for a cat yeah. to be adopted just because uh, it may fit your lifestyle better. So usually um, kind of going with our feline team and telling them what you're actually looking for and what you want is a good thing. And they can really help you out. I guess yeah. why is desexing a cat such an important factor? Because we wouldn't have all of our unwanted kittens if we actually desex them. Um, we get 10,000 plus animals a year. Just in Auckland's SPCA, that's Gosh. not around the country. Around the country we get over 30,000. So, um, and 75% of those are cats. That's so. extraordinary numbers. Yeah, it's insane. Such a lot of numbers. Yeah. Okay, so what other sort of jabs do my, does my cat need or my kitten need um, before I bring them home? Well, when they get adopted from the SPCA, they will be vaccinated, microchipped, and desexed. So you're going to get all of that when you get them. Finding a veterinarian that you're going to work with for the rest of your pet's life, though, is going to be a big deal. How often um, do they need to be vaccinated? Um, so when they're young, they have to be vaccinated a few times because they need a booster. But as they get older, it gets to be yearly or every three right. years. But depending on which vaccines you get them and which veterinarian you work with, it'll be all different. Not dissimilar so. to children. Yeah. Wow, is it? but it's a slightly dissimilar situation, yeah. shall we say. Uh, so do you have a final key message uh, for everyone sitting at home who's thinking, actually, you know what, that would make a great Christmas present a cat? So just remember that they're for life. Um, a Christmas present is actually, it's kind of, having a pet's kind of a decision for your whole house and it's a long-term life decision. You know, you're about to get a 10 year commitment. Um, so while it might be nice to get it for Christmas because we have plenty of them, yeah. um, it's always a big commitment that you should think about first. Exactly, you probably do need to discuss it with your family, don't yeah. you? And if, if there's people who over the Christmas time want to work with animals, there's all kind of other options for all SPCAs around the country um, for adopt, for fostering or volunteering. So you don't necessarily have to adopt, okay. but we have plenty if lots, you do. Lots of options options for yeah. you there. Hey, well, thank you so much for joining us, You're Chelsea. Bring these two cute little critters, and they are just gorgeous. <laughs>